this girl has class. She's dignified. But this dumbass act like she going up into 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 Windsor Castle. Where the queen at? I know. I want to see that thing <laughs> on her head. Tea time, yeah. bitch. You better bring me some Hennessy. Yeah. <laughs> her friends are outside like, yeah. let me in. Yeah. Yo, yo. I'm about to queen that bitch up, yo. Man, we've been having a good time. I hate to bring it down. I hate oh. to bring it down. Let me move this over a little bit. I hate I hate to bring things down right now. Don't bring them down, Corey. Oh, Don't bring them man. down. Man, I hate to do it, Oz. Here's the uh-huh. thing, Oz. If we must. If we must. Today, what's the holiday today, Oz? Martin Luther King's observer, what is it, observing his day and his birthday at the same time, his life and his legacy. Yeah. What did Martin have, Brother Martin? What did he have? I mean, what did he have? He had a dream, of course. It ain't a trick question. That was like, you're going down a list. <laughs> uh, he had a dream. I and said. The, and the gist of it, you know, little white boys and black girls and white kids and black kids. But really the dream was that all people of all races and of all backgrounds, human beings, and, you know, somewhere in the future, and other things and animals too, I'm sure, we robots and whatever, we all get along. That was his dream. That's why I'm sad today to say that, you know, because we said the young people out there, they're the ones who gonna keep the dream alive. Young people took that shit and just wiped their ass with it and stamped all over it, stomped all over it. And, and I, let me just start out with this. I'm just going to ask some questions. Do you know Meghan Markle? Of course. You know, beautiful girl. Uh, Oz, do you know Meghan Markle? Yes, she's quite nice. She is very nice. There she is right there, beautiful girl. She's, a, she's an American actress. If you watch the television, then you might know her from a show called Suits. Here's a little bit of her talent right here on that particular show. <laughs> when I went to see Lewis. Enough. What I don't get, Mike, is why you didn't have the courage to just come and tell me that yourself. When I went to his office to get him to sign the letter. Wait. You went to him to sign the letter? Oh, this the girl. Drama. Oh, the drum. This girl got so much drama. She don't need no more. She's so beautiful. She, she. Uh, you know what, Daniel? She is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. How can anybody have anything bad to say about her? And here's the thing about Meghan Markle. She's been making a, a lot of news because she is so gorgeous that she is marrying into royalty. Uh, and I forgot to get out of here. Yeah, let me pull up the picture right here because it is a beautiful picture of these two people, and. Let me see, Prince Harry. Prince Harry. Harry. Prince Harry. Let me see if I can find <laughs> Prince Harry. Prince Hakeem. Hakeem Abu from Africa. <laughs> no, Prince Harry of England. And there she is right there with him. Nice looking couple right there. Yeah. yeah I can see yeah. her marrying in the royalty. Yeah. Yeah, very, very lovely looking couple. Good looking couple. They look happy. They look happy. And some people out there trying to take away from their happiness. And here's the thing that they told. Here's the thing they told old Megan right here. They say, look, yeah, y'all look good together. But don't forget, girl, you have black. <laughs> you, you, you know, you, and you, you know, she thought she was going to go. They say, don't, don't you expect to walk up in there and everything be pep, pep, and cherry out? It ain't going to be <laughs> like that because you are married. Ain't, you just ain't marrying into regular white. You marrying into that original white. Royalty. You ro- royalty that white. white. That OG white. The OG white, man. You, they said right here that you are marrying into the VIP room of white. You know it is. That old-fashioned, arist- ar- aristocratic, British-ass white. That old, old money white. That old money white. Oz, the thing is, if you get just a drop of black blood on the carpet, it could taint oh, the it could taint the legacy. So, cut it off it's like a cancer. Cut it off. Cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> Get it out of here. But Get that black shit. Out. <laughs> Boy, don't you bring that hair black shit up in here. But no, you know they said this girl is so beautiful that we are that we're cool with it. Mm. You know that's all right. Uh, not everybody though. This girl's been catching a little bit of flack. Yeah, he's of been course. Getting, you know, a little bit, a little bit. Somebody wore a, a brush in front of her that had a insensitive racial, uh, over in Britain at least, a racial stereotype. Uh, that was kind of an uproar. But something, 
really got to me with this. Mm. And it breaks my heart that, again, it's with somebody who's, who's very young. Uh, Danielle, you keep up with, uh, with the, uh, uh, you know, the modeling world. You keep up with the glamorous world. True. Does the name Joe Marnie ring yeah. a bell? Really? I think so. Who is she? It's, isn't she like a tall, skinny, white girl with dark, short, dark hair, and she's a model? That's very general, but yes, you're, you're also <laughs> right. <laughs> Joe Marnie. Who? There yeah, she yeah. is right there. Got that ass. For one thing, you see right there, Joe Marnie is a 25-year-old glamour model. Uh, she loves the royal family. Black people, not too much. Uh, don't even care if you're, if you're half black. Don't like it. Fuck her. Don't like mm. it. And especially don't bring your half black ass in here and mix it up with my why? royalty. I don't mm. like it. Be oh, you know why? She's just a hater because she didn't pull Prince Harry. Oh, no. She got something better. She got white. And I don't think I'm making this a big <laughs> black thing because th let me just tell you why I say that. This girl right here, 25 years old, th th she did not hold back on expressing her thoughts when asked about the engagement tw between um, Marley uh, Markle and Prince Harry. Megan, you mean? Megan Markle. There you go. I'm mixing. I got them mixed up. Marley, <laughs> I'm putting them whatever, same shit. <laughs> see, I'm see, I'm trying to bring black and white together right now. <laughs> you see how it worked that? Making, now, making shit up now. Here's the thing. She was talking to somebody with some tweets. Now, that Twitter still. Uh-oh. That, that Twitter <laughs> got them. Got him, got him. That Twitter will always get your ass, Oz. Learn. Twitter fingers, man. Them Twitter fingers. Twitter fingers will always get you. That little bird will come in and get your ass in trouble. That little bird <laughs> keeps no secrets. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. She put out, she was talking to a friend. A friend. <laughs> friend, and, uh, like, oh, my God. I, didn't even, I never knew this side of you, Joe. Turns out here, she's, I'm going to read the whole thing to you. Starts out with, I wouldn't, I, she says, I wouldn't with a Negro. And the person's asking, What's wrong with black people? She just, she doesn't hold back. Ugly. Not my thing. They don't turn me on. Harry's marrying. God. Wet as a scrubber. You know, she's talking all that, uh, all that, uh, that British lingo, mate. Uh, yuck, yuck. Wet as a scrubber, mate. Awful. A raw yank. Yuck. And then they say here, what's wrong with her? They're talking about Megan. She says, she's a gender equality twat. She's obsessed with race and her seed uh, uh, it will uh, they say here? And I see will taint our royal family, bitch. That ain't your family. You know, <laughs> I was nobody up in there. Yeah, he like like that. Like she, they cousin or something. <laughs> bitch, they don't know you. They don't know you. <laughs> and she says, just a dumb little commoner, tiny brain. And then she just said, and she's black. Oh man, no, the capital. No. A dumb little actress that no one has heard of. This is Britain. Not Africa. Why we always got to go to Africa? I ain't been to Africa. <laughs> this, girl is, this girl is half white, man. Why, why is Africa brought up with her? Not that Africa's yeah. bad. You got to throw her all the way back to Africa's the motherland. Africa's a shithole, you uh, the dumb little commoner from Africa. Why is Africa catching a bad rap? When, what's wrong yeah. with Africa? Africa ain't that bad. I ain't, but don't, <laughs> don't, don't assume we all been just because. You know. <laughs> Africa looking like what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Africa looking at you and me. I was talking about I don't know them. <laughs> uh, says, hey, shit, I'm from, I'm from Waco. <laughs> and the person hey, says, uh, LOL, so what? Not wanting other races and oh, that's what she says. The person says no. Person calls her. He, she, he says racist, and she says, <laughs> "LOL." So what? Not wanting other races and cultures to invade your own culture doesn't mean I hate their race. It just means that I don't want their cultures invading mine. No, that's exactly what it means, dumbass. No, no, I know. Yeah, she's talking oh, about yeah. just don't like her. She's a black American pushing their way to the top slowly, slowly. Next will be a Muslim prime minister. And a black king. Now, here's what really bothers me with this whole, they're going to put their, push their culture on our culture. Look at this girl. The, the, the one thing about the girl I can say, and I don't even mean in a, in a bad way, but the girl is practically white. I mean, the way she Pretty talks, the, her skin tone, you know, she leaning. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying it's a bad thing, but she leaning on the white side of things. Mm -hmm. Yet this stupid ass looks at her and don't see anything but black in every stereotype that comes to her head. Talking about the culture, she act like, look, this girl has class, she's dignified, but this dumb ass act like she going up into, into, into Windsor Castle, where the queen at? I, I want to see that flag <laughs> on her head. 
Tea time, yeah. bitch. You better bring me some Hennessy. You know? yeah. Her friends are outside, like, yeah. let yeah. me in. Yeah. Yo, yo, I'm about to queen that bitch up, yo. I can't, I can't front the part of me wants her to go do that at least one good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah they acting like she a hood rat. Walking up in there doing some ghetto shit, you know, like at <laughs> like at the wedding, she gonna be twerking and shit, you know. What I mean? Like a little change up in yeah, here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, you know, that's this girl does not represent even uh, to a, a small degree what is going on in her head. Mm. And I and I cannot look. I ain't saying there's an excuse for it at all. I can understand and believe me when I say this. I don't mean anything bad by it because I don't. I ain't got a problem with nothing. What shade you are. I, from the from a racist point of view, I can understand if she was darker skinned and looked more African. She is not, and I'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing. But from a racist point of view, I thought that made a difference. But apparently, nah. Apparently, if you have people are ready to kill themselves if they find out they have just one black hair follicle on them. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't it doesn't matter if you know how stereotypically black you look or stereotypically half black you look. It doesn't matter for these racist people. It doesn't matter. It, it, it just takes a pinky toe in the well of blackness. It takes everything. To change so, everything. I support, doesn't matter. I support this union 100%. <laughs> but oh, yeah. based on what I've seen, I don't think it's going to end up... I don't think they're going to end up getting married. No. You know what? Based on what I've seen, this is the kind of thing... These are the kind of oppositions that make people stronger. You know, and that's what I'm hoping for. So you think they, they, they will get married? Yeah, they'll get married. I don't think they will. I think time will tell, and I think over time we'll see that that's, they're not going to get married. Well, God damn, ain't you pessimistic? You ain't even getting them a chance. <laughs> I'm not pessimistic, Coleman. I just know human behavior, and I have a feeling that this won't go down. Mm. Why? Well, they got engaged very, 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 very quick, and I, I just. So it has nothing to do with all the the the, the criticism and, and racism that she's receiving. Well, I hope that do, that's not going to be a key factor, but I think it might be. And here's the other thing. I, I, this girl up here talking about a Negro. Oh, I would never do that. A black person. And she just flat out said, I want you to, let me just put it over here for you. I want you to, Oz, I want you to see right here what she said. Yeah. She said, the first thing she followed was like, when, when they asked, what's wrong with black people? She said, ugly. 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 Mm-hmm. Now, you know, if you were dating royalty yourself or you were dating James Bond or some shit, then I'd be like, okay, you know, that's your thing, but whatever, you know, but you can't be out there doing what you're doing and trying to say what you're saying, because uh, I'm going to show you who she's dating right now. The guy All that she's right. dating is a 55 year, this girl's 25, I'm not saying, I don't care about the age difference, but she's dating a 50, I'm sorry, 54 year old politician the leader of the independent the uk independent party the one that's really championing championing uh, for uh, brexit a guy named henry bolton and there he is <laughs> mm. <laughs> he got the british teeth he got the he british may need teeth. he may need to call that photographer from the first story to fix him up a bit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now, granted, 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 they caught him at a bad time, taking a bad, making a bad face. So, no, he's I mean, smiling. What do you mean he's, he's in the happiest smiling. moment of his life? <laughs> look, I, 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 I'm just trying to prove a point. That motherfucker looked like he should be wearing fingerless gloves, hanging out with orphans. <laughs> Hello, mate. What do you have for me today, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, like he should be hanging out with Jack Sparrow or some shit right now, you know? <laughs> no, Clean, I, cleaning chimneys again. Cleaning the chimneys, hey. <laughs> I'm talking about he got them British ass uh, rock chewing teeth right there. Looks like he's missing one. I uh, know. Another seven, another seven of gravel, mate. Lord. <laughs> Eating them damn rock sandwiches again. Eating rock sandwiches again. Now keep in <laughs> mind, I ain't, I ain't trying to make fun of him because he's British. I know I said British mm. teeth. But let me go ahead and do something a little here. Bear with me. Let's look at uh, let's look at my man Henry Bolton one more time. There he is, Harry Henry Bolton. Let me go over to the pond and pick up something from uh, uh, from from their territory, so that my girl Joe can see what I'm working with here. Let's go over there and pick up one of their own, something black, Idris Elba. Mm -hmm. Yum. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Idris. Let's go through this one more time. Idris Elba. Black, international, 
sex symbol. <laughs> Smeagol, yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Bitch, shut the fuck up. She's just hating, Big projecting time. her own insecurities. That's all it is. She's you, a I know you are not a judge of good taste when it comes to looks. And I yes. hate to have to talk to, talk about this man like this because he ain't really done nothing but kind of like try to cover up for this hoe. But this yeah. chick is probably, a, she's probably a gold digger too. Oh, probably? <laughs> I got to be fair because I don't know her, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> in, in this instance, beauty is in the eye of the blind beholder. Yeah. That's yeah. Much. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, yeah, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I've even seen some pictures. I ain't going to be mean, but you got a, the, uh, all dolled up right here. She ain't, she's taking some pictures where she ain't so flattering. Fuck it. I'm just going to find it. You ain't really cream of the crop either on certain days. Ew. Nah. Catch you on a bad day. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm saying? Now listen to me. I'm not sitting up here trying to say that Black looks better than white, white looks better than black, or anything in between. Anybody with common sense and an open mind, somebody who's just not a shitty person will say that there is beauty, and even that's, again, based on people's opinions, there is beauty in any group out there. In yes. any group. You, you know, anybody can see that. You don't have to date them, but you ain't got to classify a whole genre of people ugly. Exactly. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. And that's the problem. I guess that's the problem that we're having, right? You can't run out the building talking about everybody's one thing. Meanwhile, you look inside your backyard. You look kind of crazy yourself. She comes across as a really bad person. Uh, yep. You know, one of the things that happened, first piece of karma right here, of course, this guy is going to protect his political agenda. So he pretty much went out there and said, yeah, I had to drop that hoe. What about, about your relationship with her? Well, uh, as of last night, our, the romantic side of our relationship is ended. I, well, the, the conversation, of course, will remain a private conversation. Bitch, you fired. That's what he said. That's pretty much it. I, You've been cut I, off, that bitch. That shit happened within hours. <laughs> you know, he went home and said, you got to go pack your shit because I ain't losing my job. You don't think he's just saying that for publicity? Well, he's not just going to not be fucking this girl anymore just look, because she was racist then. She's racist now. He knew that from the jump. It's not like this just came out of nowhere and he's like... Oh, my girlfriend's racist. No. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. No, you you were right. No, you let me so let right. me tell you this, Danielle. When you when you can't, when you're in that position, you got that type of power, and you got these females around. It, it, it's not yours. It's just your turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure that. And that's exactly her turn is ended. So yeah. we go get somebody else. So that's not a problem. Yeah, yeah. This dude, this dude is pulling. And you know this dude right here. Pulling hoes. Yeah. He don't care. He got money. He know the thing is this dude Henry Henry Bolton, he knows how he looks. He don't man. care. He got I got money, man. I don't give a fuck. Let your money talk for me, man. I got to say nothing. Let my cash talk for me. Yeah, yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. This dude don't care. And uh and yeah, I I, I tell you what, he said that uh, you know, on those terms, he's still trying to keep something on the down low. You know, he says he's we're still on good terms, but you know, I had to let her go. You know, I mean, so listen, he knew before. He's doing what he has to do to save face right now. Yeah. It's cast shade on his position right now anyway. His 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 uh political career does have a mark on it which could probably have some negative effects down the line. But as of mm. right now, you know, he's he, he's doing whatever he has to do to save face. And oh what a face it is. <laughs> 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 Save face indeed. Oh yeah, well. Yeah, he's even laughing. Shit, I get another one tomorrow. <laughs> he said I had a roster already ready. Shit, I have a trap. <laughs> I, got, I got a trap door for you bitches. <laughs> Hell yeah. Go, scroll through my girl decks, goddamn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who next? Yeah, and and and, and look, I, these I don't mind talking about this girl in a really shallow way because she is. As of right now, I always believe that people could change for the better. Because right now, she out there, but don't try to think that's it's going to happen overnight. Because she's doing that whole thing of, oh, I'm sorry, guys. You know, some things are taken out of context. And I really didn't mean to say what I said. I don't know how you can take out of context some shit that's straight, straightforward as fuck. What's wrong with black people? Ugly. Yeah. Well, how, what's the subtext in that? What's the deep <laughs> meaning in that? I don't know how you can go around that. Yeah, you know, I don't, I, I don't see what's going on with that. And uh, she's trying to say now... 
oh, thanks for the support, people. You know, people do realize when they've done wrong, and I'm one of those people. I'm sorry I said these things. No, so, you're sorry you got caught. You're not sorry, sorry yeah. you did shit. You're sorry that it's now leaked, you dumb piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, live and learn, right? <laughs> you know, fuck off. No, it don't work <laughs> like that. I do hope that people can change someday, and as much as people hate to say it, because people want to be mad, and they want to have their, 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 their target to, to, to throw their, their knives at, but, mm-hmm. you know, I somewhere down the line, I hope she's a better person. She's right. like, yeah, she's all about gender equality. Uh, yeah, is that yeah. something to look down upon? No. But you know what? For her, it is. This is a person mm. who is just ugly. And I'm not talking about on the, on, the, on the outside. Inside right now. She hates she, herself. She is a ugly, disgusting human being. Mm-hmm. She's right. looking at the, the, this movement right here, which, granted, has its problems at the moment. But that doesn't mean that there are a lot of people who, le- who legitimately have been sexually harassed, uh, 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 violated, and of course, you know, you're not going to get everybody on board, no matter how much you think they are. And right here, does she support that at all? Not even one bit. She says here, and this is about, I'm sure, the Harvey Weinstein thing. Yeah. A rich, famous fat man tried to get her into bed. Poor little flower. Give her an award for her bravery. What a joke. Out of all the brilliant, influential, amazing people in this world, time chooses a bunch of win- I think I think she meant to say whining, but she says whining little yeah. divas who got hit on by a fat bloke once. Wow, girl, you are a disgusting. Who's she Dang talking it. about? I just said Harvey Weinstein. No, yeah, it sounds girl. like a Weinstein thing. Who are you talking? About? Like many, oh, oh, shit, one pick girls. one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't have time to go through his list. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's you know, it's the, she she's mad about this because deep down inside, I don't know what's going on with her, but you can tell that she is a shallow, self-hating, just just a disgusting human being. Yeah, it sounds like she she wished she was in those positions to kind of gain from those uh, experiences. You know what I mean? She would she would have had no problem taking Harvey Weinstein up on any offer. It sounds like. Oh, she would have been the first None. one. Let's go. <laughs> Harvey Weinstein would have been like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> I, gotta do some, I gotta do some rapey shit first. There's a, there's a, there's a protocol to this. You know, nah, let's go now. <laughs> you know, this routine. Is a, yeah, man, it's sad. It's sad. And for, again, for this to happen uh, during a time when, you know, we got one guy who had a dream of everybody being together. I, I'm sorry for you, Martin Luther King. Glad you ain't here to see it. I'm going to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame. Me, I bro. watch that episode every uh, Martin Luther King. That's a, that is a. Great I love that. I love that episode. Yeah, that's a great episode of the of the Boondocks. For me, I, mm-hmm. I'd watch it every uh, Martin Luther King's uh, day too, man. It's a it's the episode of the Boondocks where we talked about it last week, where Martin yes, Luther King did. he was in a coma instead of being killed, and uh, he came back and was pissed about it. wasn't a, It wasn't an episode where they were pointing fingers at other races. They were pointing fingers at black people. Yep. And he actually used the word. He's like, you niggas have got to go. <laughs> <laughs> he was in, uh, uh, Aaron uh, Magruder was even on, <laughs> on CNN. They were like, you had Martin Luther King say that word. He's like, you got that right. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think he would. <laughs> <laughs>